Hi, this is Dan Malloy from Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you're preparing for the Mechanical PE Exam or considering preparing for the Mechanical PE Exam, you've come to a good starting place. A little over a year ago, I made a Start Here video, and I covered a number of topics, essentially summarizing the introduction to the 13th edition of the MERM, or Mechanical Engineering Reference Manual. Most of the information in that video holds true. But as some of the commenters and subscribers to the channel pointed out, we're overdue on updating that with what has specifically changed about the test format. NCs changed their test format effective for the test in April of 2017, which already happened. The purpose of this video is to note some of those changes and also to highlight some of the things that will stay the same. So to cut to the chase, the big difference to new test is that there is no more breadth and depth section. There's a morning session and a p.m. afternoon session just as there was before, but the morning session is no longer common between the three disciplines. So in the past, no matter whether you were taking HVAC and refrigeration, machine design, or thermal and fluids, you would have the same morning problems. And then your p.m. problems would be more specific to the discipline. Now the whole test is discipline specific. That said, there still may be some overlap where problems are being reused from one test to another and it's not clear whether it's the same problems in the morning or the same in the afternoon there's really no distinction between the type of problem that you might receive in the morning versus the afternoon it really is all equal so you're going to get a mix of problem types throughout the day and there's no rhyme or reason to the order in which those problems will be given so for HVAC, which is what I primarily focus on in the solution videos that I do, the problems are broken up into two groups, principles and applications, and then they're subdivided into groups beyond that, which rather than spell it out in a slide, I'll actually just bring up the NCS document. And this I pulled directly from the NCS website, which I'll link to in the notes under this video. This is the exam specification effective April 2017. So you have an eight hour open book exam. It's still 40 problems in the morning and 40 problems in the afternoon, just as it was before. But the difference now is in how the test is broken up. It used to be 40 breadth, 40 depth. Now it's 32 what they're calling principles and 48 applications. And within principles, they have basic engineering practice, thermodynamics, psychrometrics, heat transfer, fluid mechanics, and energy and mass balances. And then within applications, there's heating and cooling loads, equipment and components, systems and components, and supportive knowledge. And take a look at the numbers here. Equipment and components is 18, and systems and components is another 18. So that's almost half the test. And this really is the core of HVAC and refrigeration if we look at some of the subtopics. Cooling towers, boilers, heat exchangers, condensers, pumps and compressors, cooling and heating loads, control components, refrigerants, air distribution, fluid distribution, refrigeration, energy recovery, and control concepts. So a lot of good rich topics in there. Really that is the, the core of HVAC. And the basic point I want to make here is that's not different from what it is in the old version. All of the strategies, all of the topics summarized, and basically your overall approach to preparing for the exam doesn't change. The content is the same. HVAC is the same. Thermodynamics hasn't changed in a long time. Not a major adjustment for folks who are just hearing about this change or are concerned that there's a new exam. What do I do? You don't have to do anything differently than, than you would have otherwise done. So what's not changing? Well, the guidance that I provided previously in my Start Here video around how long to study what to study, what books you need and which ones you should bring to the exam, how to use practice exams, and how the grading system works. All of the recommendations around those areas are unchanged. So if you haven't already watched the original video from a year ago, studying for the mechanical PE exam, start here. I'll put a link to that in the notes under this video. I'll also include a link to the NCS exam specifications that we just looked at. And lastly, I'll put a link to the recommended books which I've organized in a page on my blog for your easy reference. If you have any specific questions, feel free to make a comment below the video, and good luck in your studying.